This is a Lego part with a peculiar shape. One side of it is recessed into the part. But there is still a bulge at the bottom. The height and width of the bulge are both 1.6 millimeters. What special function does the 1.6 millimeters give this part? Launched in 1980, part 4070 is named headlight. With the transparent plate, it can vividly simulate the square car headlight of the 80s. As of June 2021 this part has launched a total of 30 colors appearing in more than 2,100 LEGO sets. There is also a similar part, 87087, which was not released until 2009. Comparing 4070 and 87087, you will find that these two parts are different in two points. First of all the part 87087 has one interface on the top and bottom, and one on the front. There is an additional interface on the back of the part 4070 which can be connected to other parts in four directions. You can connect other parts on the front and back of the part, and use the bottom interface to simulate the coin slot of a newspaper vending machine. You can also use the upper and lower sides of the parts to connect and use the back interface to simulate an open desk drawer. In addition, because the front and rear interfaces of the parts are through, a wooden stick can be passed through to become a snowman's arms. Another difference between these two parts is the 1.6 mm indentation mentioned earlier. Compared with the front interface of the part 87087, the part 4070 has an indentation of 1.6 mm. Because of this indentation, after installing an ordinary 1x1 one one brick on the front interface of the part 4070, the total width is exactly two studs. Using this feature, you can build a square with side length two studs. Use four part 4070, connect the next part on the side of each part, and rotate them like a windmill to form a square. Based on this square, change the direction of the top two bricks, and add another layer on the side to get a cube with side length two studs. In many LEGO sets, a similar method is used to construct a structure with two studs in width. For example the lintel decoration in the Parisian restaurant set uses two colors of reddish brown and light bluish gray. Feather decorations are added to the top of the structure. A 1 by 8 tile part is used on the front to hide the structure. In the 2020 Sesame Street set, a similar structure was used to build a TV with a height of two studs. This indentation can also show a sense of inlaid layering. For example fences and roadside benches all use the part 4070 to show the effect of embedded wooden boards. Many LEGO sets include types of furniture with drawers. The part 4070 can be seen on the furniture. With the part 15573, it can vividly simulate desk drawers, bookshelf drawers, bedside table drawers, and closet drawers. The uneven surface of the brick wall can also be realized with this part. It can be used alone on a flat surface, or it can simulate the effect of the cornerstone at the corner. If you use the part 87087, it will appear very abrupt. There are still some scenes that need to leave a certain gap, but you don't want the gap to be too large. For example, the vice at the edge of the woodworking table. The connection between the computer case and the monitor. Lego has many slope parts, but the slopes of these parts are not continuous. There is a vertical surface at the bottom of the slope. The height of this vertical plane is exactly 1.6 millimeters. This part 54200 is commonly known as cheese slope. When installed on the part 4070 it is natural for the slope to transition to a vertical surface. But when installed on the part 87087, there will be an extra right angle, which seems to be missing. Use the part 4070 with 54200 to make a wall storage shelf. In addition 1.6 mm is only half the thickness of a Lego plate, not an integer multiple. When using slope parts to construct a continuous slope surface if only ordinary brick and plate parts are used, the height of the slope surface will fluctuate. At this time, you can use the part 4070 to eliminate the ups and downs, thereby constructing a continuous slope. The part 4070 can also assist in the construction of complementary slopes. There are two types of Lego slope parts slope and inverted slope. The slope surfaces are opposite to each other. If you use ordinary plate parts, there will be a gap between the two slope surfaces. With the part 4070, this gap can be eliminated and the two slope surfaces can be closely attached. A single slope part with the part 4070 can also achieve a similar effect. The above is this issue of brick stories. If you have new ideas, new usages about this part, or if you want us to talk about any parts next time, please leave us a message. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In addition, all the small models appearing in this video are displayed on our website theprefabric.com, including part list and assembly video. Thanks for watching Brick Stories, and see you next time.